Hi guys, welcome to Biodiversity Within Community. You need to be able to describe what we understand by species diversity and explain how a diversity index is used as a measure of species diversity. So this is a specification for today. Uh, so uh, you should remember this formula. That's a really important part of today's video. So what is the biodiversity? Uh, it's a general term which is used to describe variety in the living world. And it refers to the number and variety of living organisms in the specific area. So it's made of species diversity, genetic diversity and ecosystem diversity. So in terms of the balance between all of uh, between the conservation farming uh, that will then lead to uh, that will contribute to the biodiversity or might affect biodiversity in some ways. So definitions species richness which is a number of different species represented in the ecological community species uh, evenness uh, this is a comparison of the size of the population of different species within a specific area habitat is an ecological or environmental area that is uh, inhabited by a particular species Community are uh, all populations occupying the same geographical area in that specific time. And ecosystem, finally, it's a system that includes all living organisms, so biotic factors, in the area as well as its physical environment, so abiotic factors, functioning together as a unit. So, index of the diversity, it's that formula. And it lets you describe the relationship between the number of species in a community and the number of individuals, uh, individuals in each species. So species diversity can be measured using the index of diversity. OK, so it lets you to look at the differences uh, in terms of the area and the same area at different times. So let's focus on the formula, what we need to know. Uh, capital D stands for the uh, diversity index, uh, capital N, the total number of the organisms, and N, lowercase, the total number of organisms of a particular species, so individuals. So how are we going to use this formula? We're going to use it uh, on the example. So we've got uh, species richness here, four, because we've got A, B, C, D, four different species, and then we've got a number of individuals per each of those species. So firstly, what's what? So capital N is a total number, N will be the individual. So big N, it's all of them. So that's a total number. Lowercase n, it's then individuals for each of the species. So what it's n, what's the total? It's, of course, 25 because you're adding them together. Then we want to work out the, uh, the bottom of our formula. So we need to use the, the equation lowercase n uh, times by lowercase n minus 1 four times in this case here because you're doing it for every single individual species. So those are our answers. And the diversity index then will be the total number of the species multiplied by total minus 1 divided by the sum of uh, equation used for the individual species. So in your answer, you should get 3.33. Right. So, uh, so there are different uh, d uh, different uh, ideas to be looking at. So the number of individual individuals for each of the species here it's now uh, eighteen six for each. The equation for each of those species will be six times five, so thirty. And the index of diversity using the formula will follow as three point four. Right. So here. Uh, we've got a question, so let's have a look if, if you understand the formulas. There's not calculations to be made, but this is the application question. 
So question one, it says it would not be possible to calculate an index of diversity from the results in table one. Explain why. So let's have a look what we've got in the table one. We've got group of animals. We've got num mean number of animals. And then we've got no, uh, mean number of species. Right, coming back to the formula, what do you need? You need a total number and you need a number of individuals. Do we have this? No, we don't. Okay, so we cannot, uh, we cannot provide any calculations because there is no data on number of individuals in each species. Okay, or you could just easily write down the formula. Okay, and then describe what you mean. Right. Next question. You've got uh, a summary of this research was published, uh, and the uh, jo uh, journalists uh, concluded that creating greasy strips around fields had little effect on the diversity of soil animals. Uh, do you agree with this conclusion or not? And you need to use the table one to uh, to uh, to provide your uh, justify your answer so really important thing here we've got standard deviation what do you need to remember about standard deviation it's the fact that if they overlap there is no significant difference but if they do not overlap then there would be a significant difference another thing will be of course looking at the numbers uh, on its own so what we've got, we've got the overlap, okay, of the standard deviations. So it shows you that there is no significant difference. So the chance is higher than 95% uh, that the results are due to chance. And then uh, for the agree, there is no difference in the number of earthworms. So have a look at the earthworms. OK, don't uh, we don't have any uh, significant difference in there. And for disagree, we've got more beetles and wood lice in greasy. So beetles and wood lice in uh, greasy. So we can see there is much more of them and more species of beetles, earthworms and wood lice in grassy strips. OK, so as 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 you can see, uh, the the uh, justification comes from just a table. So get used to analysis of questions like that. Right. And last question. The index of diversity of the insects was higher in the H than in the barley field. So just why? So questions like that to do with the diversity, of course, those species need to survive. So what do they need? They need more plant species, so they will have more food sources, so there will be more habitats for them. Right, so that's everything. See you later.